Sally Edwards and welcome back to another episode of Craft the Story. It has been a super busy week here in the office as I get ready for the Week in the Life prep day, which is happening tomorrow if you're watching this in real time, that's Saturday, May 8th. And that is getting us ready for Week in the Life community documenting, which is happening or starting on uh, Monday, May 10th. If you've never done Week in the Life, it's a seven day documentary project where you are um, telling the story of your life over the course of, of one week, one particular week in time. And it's a project that I've been doing since 2005. And when I count up the number of years that is, it feels crazy, but I have one week each year documented and it's one of my most favorite projects. You can see a little bit more on my blog right now of what my starting place is this year. I'm really going colorful and, and just playful and, and having fun and, and it feels like what is the right uh, thing for me right now, which is what I always want to encourage you to do in your own memory keeping adventures is figuring out um, what kinds of stories do you want to tell right now and what, what's the style you want to work in and what's the size you want to work in, right? We have so many different kinds of options um, for our memory keeping adventure. So lots and lots of that kind of stuff happening around here uh, this week, lots of that out on my table. But for today's video, what I wanted to do was finish up my pieces of me project. Um, this is in a notebook. I've got another video that I'll link below that you can check out where I did um, the first few pages. Pieces of me is a, another documentary project that we do where there are individual prompts to document each day. So we do hands and feet and face forward and eyes closed and half a face. And then we've got the, I think there's two, how many more do I have here? I have full body and I have uh, reflection. So I've got two more pages uh, in this, and so I'm just gonna finish this up with you guys here today um, as, a, as a nice reminder too that you know when we embark on these projects, sometimes we don't finish them all at once, right? That was something that we talked just briefly about um, in the Q&A videos, and I will have a video in the future that talks more about some of my strategies for uh, completing projects. But today, what I'm gonna do to, to complete this project is literally make the time to do it. So I am going to dive right in. All right, so for this particular day, for the full body day, I did end up taking, I had two photos or a couple different angles of photos where I was taking these full body shots of myself. So what I decided to do was I printed out one that is a full page photo, and then I'm gonna trim this one down that's gonna fit in this space and then add my journaling uh, here below. You can see some of these other examples of different ways in the notebook. I've done pattern paper, I've done my long page of journaling there, I've done the some of those deli pages, there's another one of those, um, and then here's another one with a photo. So that was how I started out the album, which this one's going to end up looking similar uh, to that there. And then for my last one, I have um, just this, the photo that will be added here, and then I'll probably do pattern paper over on that other side. I wanted to say too that I really like working in the notebook. I think that the notebook is a fun departure from traditional layouts and from pocket pages. And it's not necessarily a departure, it's more of actually an addition or an option, right? Any of the projects that we do, uh, any of the documenting that we do could be done inside um, of a notebook. And it's just another just another way to, to capture and hold your stories. It's another home for your stories. All right, so definitely when I'm adding these in here, I often have a little bit of overlap and I am going to adhere the extra pages uh, together. Some of you ha have done some really cool things inside those extra pages, but others of you like me are probably just being like, nope, don't need those for these projects. So I'm just gonna adhere those together. Let's go ahead and do the trimming off around the edges. You can throw this on your trimmer. You can use scissors. I'm just gonna do scissors because that feels easy right now. And then to adhere these inside pages, I'm literally just running my adhesive around the edge here. So sometimes when I'm doing a project like this, I follow a, you know, a real specific 
or a very specific formula where I'm, you know, all pattern papers go in the same place in each spread and photos go in the same place in each spread. And in this case, basically what I've been working with, right, is, is three different components here, three different content areas, right? I've got a long vertical one, I have a square here or close enough to a square and then close enough to a square on the bottom. So I can always choose, do I want to handwrite my journaling or which thing is gonna go in which place loving again that there's not a right or a wrong not a right or a wrong so what i need to do next actually i'm just going to go ahead and adhere this other photo in here i need to i'm going to go back and look at my journaling i had i shared these photos on instagram so i can simply copy and paste and or just rewrite them by hand and i'm not sure exactly which one i want to do yet and so that's what I'm, i need to go look at that uh look at that next and then make make those decisions. All right, when I looked back at my journaling for the, the last two days in this project, I had a lot for the last day and not as much for the full body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically transcribe what I wrote for the full body part, um, just copying what I wrote off of Instagram and handwriting in this journaling space. And then I went ahead and just uh, copied and pasted the journaling that I wrote on the last one, which is reflection, and I'm gonna adhere it right in to there and so I'm actually gonna just do that first so that I can get this part um, out of the way and then I'll probably add a couple embellishments and I'll add some pattern paper uh, to this um, bottom section here and and call it good say if you're watching this video at some other you know point in the year or point in time and you're just reading about this um, pieces of me project and you maybe you want to do it on your own that is awesome you should totally go for it it's a great uh, little opportunity to um, kind of focus on your own personal story actually let's just adhere these two pages together um, focus on your own story a little bit get yourself in front of the camera if that's not something that you're used to doing um, it's just a really good project for really taking a closer look at like are you talking to yourself some of the those are some of the things that I think about a lot when I embark on this one um, in particular. And it's also a good jumping off point if you're getting ready to do Week in the Life next week to think a little bit about, um, you know, stories related to your body or pieces of your life right now, the literal, both the literal pieces and just the pieces that may be floating around um, in your life. I'm actually going to probably adhere this last page. Well, maybe I'll just leave it. There's a couple other pages in there, which would be a great place if you wanted to write anything else or you had extra photos maybe that you took. You could also, this would be kind of fun to do, is to put like outtakes maybe or some of the photos that you took that you didn't use for one reason or another. That might be something fun uh, to include in there. Okay, so I actually printed this, just so you know, to the journaling, let's see, the other journaling page I did, this one was on cardstock. This one I printed on photo paper because I'm out of this other cardstock that I like to use. Amazon is hopefully gonna be delivering to me soon. Um, but it can go either way. I mean, I like printing on photo paper sometimes because I feel like the color, even just journaling or digital um, embellishments, because sometimes the color just feels like it uh, looks, comes out better. All right, so now I'm gonna take my journaling from my Instagram post and like I said, just um, go ahead and rewrite it right on here. And I actually think, I, I think what I'm gonna do, now that I'm reading it, like I kinda just, my journaling wasn't necessarily, you know, it's like I took a quick break, lots of things going on and I shot this photo. So I think what I'm gonna do actually, now that I'm looking at it, and this is a good reminder to you as well, or anybody that's listening, um, that you can take stuff, you know, like, here's a good example. Some of these days I feel like I I really like what I wrote and it, and it resonates with me now even when I'm reading it. Um, but this one in particular, when I read it right now, I'm like, okay yeah but the, what does that tell me like that's actually there there's like pieces of the, i mean it's yes this is what i did on that day i went outside and i did those things but i think what i what i feel like i want to do today and so i'm going to run with that feeling is i'm going to use the stamp that says this body and then i'm going to um you know just kind of document some of the things that that 
this body does right now. Okay, I definitely feel good about adjusting that a little bit and I, I welcome and appreciate that opportunity to highlight some of the things that my body does right now or some of the things that are on my mind related to my body. And, and one of the thoughts that I had as I was writing is this is another one of those prompts or opportunities to you know kind of document right now, like a brain dump in a way of like taking the things that are inside of your head and letting them out onto the page, whether they're about your body or a relationship or, you know, some other something that's going on in your head. Um, for me, I always like actually literally feel a, a bit of a release when I write. The, the, it's a release of thoughts, it's a release of feelings, and it creates space for other things, which is something that I need so much right now. So I'm, I'm feeling really happy with that, with that choice to do that. It's also one of those ones where it's like, you know, if you write about your body once a year, or you write about your body once a month or how you're feeling about your body, you're going to tell different stories. Some of those stories might be the same from time to time, but many of them may be slight adjustments in how you're thinking about yourself or feeling about yourself or adjustments in, you know, that come from the fact that you've experienced other things along the way. So this is one of the things that I just continue to love, love, love about the opportunity for documentation and especially telling stories about ourselves, right? That it's not just about external other people, it's about the stories that we hold uh, inside of our hearts. All right, so the not, to finish this up, I just need to find, locate some pattern paper, and I have my big, giant pattern paper pile over here, so let's see if there's one that I could pull out. I have lots of scraps, too, from recent projects. Let's see what I have here that might, I might want to add into this one. Something pink, and I know I've got some pink stuff here. Actually, this one would work great. I'm gonna add this guy in there. This is one that I used on a recent project, I think in, I think in Hello Story 3 is where I ended up using that. So I'm gonna just measure this again. I think I cut it to four and a quarter just so that I made sure that I wasn't that off. So if I do four and a quarter by four, that should be fine. Let's see, that looks right there. So let's go. I think it was supposed to be four and a quarter wide, right? Yeah. Okay. I wanna get a little bit of that green in there. So I want to come down enough. Trim this off and then I'm going to see if I have any other little embellishments that I wanted to add on. I did that on some of my other pages there and a lot of those were just, you know, I just grabbed something that was here on my table um, to add on there. Some embellishment that I have in my easy access or easy, easy to grab here. Let's see what I did on the other ones. I'm going to look back. So I think most of these I added like a heart or there was that one was thankful, a chipboard piece. Let's see whatever, what else do I have around here that I could put on there? Something about embracing, actually. Okay, so 
I have, you know, a variety of things that are like right here on my table. A bunch of them are um, like stories by the month kits. And so I saw this chipboard and this one says finding opportunities to love myself. And I feel like that's a good, that would be a good one to put in here. Cause I think that that is part of this project and part of this, um, especially with the full, the full body. I think that's good. So we'll add that one on there. And then I think on this one, I just want to add a heart. So I'm going to grab one of the plastic, like a plastic heart from the heart kit. And actually, I just put those in one of these. Um, there's, a, there's also a video here on YouTube that I did about organizing chipboard and I've started, I got a couple more of those plastic boxes and have them out in hearts. And I put some stars in here too, but I could just grab one of these, either a plastic one or I still do have these like hot, there's like a hot pink one. Kind of really leaning into the, just bring on the pink. That one's cool too though, or this one. Yeah, I'll put that on there and then I'll add a, this was a, I think that this was an add on from a, um, a past story kit, if I remember right. And then I'm gonna add a word phrase sticker on top here. And I have lots of word phrase stickers, but I also have some right here that are we get a life because that's what's on my table. So I was gonna just see, I'm gonna add on do what you can with what you have like that as a, an end, an end piece on here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I think that I will, just because I'm not gonna add anything to these other pages, I'm just gonna glue them together. Uh, just to kind of finish it off here. Yeah, and then I'll leave that as the last one. So let's do a quick flip through here. With these, with the notebooks, they are something that it's like, just always feels good. It just is, it's a very textural thing, especially if you're used to working in page protectors. I think once you get outside out, out you get outside of the page protectors and something like this there, you can see how I'm gripping it. Like there's just something beautiful about, about feeling it in your hands. All right, so uh, we've got feet here photos and photos and handwritten journaling and then using the prompts, these feet. Then I've got the hands this time. I've got my face with the stamp, um, longer journaling, a little bit about Aaron with eyes closed, uh, half face with Simon there. I like to bring in people, some other people this time too. Sometimes it's all focused on me and other times it, you know, my stories in, often include other characters. And then I added this one in today with the, this body and the handwriting and the chipboard heart. And then the last one, oh, I was gonna add something actually to the top here. Let's see, what could I, what could I add? Is there any other? Maybe I'll add, I think I'm gonna add the My Story stamp from this Pieces of Me one. I feel like that. And since I'm putting it on photo paper, I am gonna use Stays On. And I've, I've been using just the memento. That's the one that I had out here on the, the table. But when I do this, I usually like to have some kind of, um, I like to do a test first before I do it on the photo paper. And this is gonna be a little tricky because it's, I might have to try to do it on the edge of the table or something. Yeah, and my, um, my, my stays on is new and which is good but it's also very, very um, wet. So it's always good for me to do a little bit of a tester on there first. That's testing it on the photo paper. So testing it on the paper that you want to actually stamp it on. So that's gonna be fine. I'm actually gonna do something kind of, I'm gonna lay it down like that. We'll just hold our breath and we'll, it's gonna, gonna whatever we get is what we get I could add you know I could add stickers or something else on there but I, I kind of want to add the stamp so let's and I like adding the my story on right to the last one so I'm gonna set it down and try not to move it around a lot good enough good good enough all right 
So we will be doing, we'll probably do this project again at another point in time. We are going to be doing pieces of home, which is part of this pieces of life collection. So the idea here um, with this one is that, you know, various times, a couple times during the year or, you know, every other year or something like that, we will revisit this project. And so we've got a folio if you want it. If you just like the notebooks, that's awesome too. Um, but this can just slip right inside here. And then when we do pieces of home later in the year, I'll be able to also add the pieces of home here as part of my whole pieces of life um, storytelling for, for 2021. So really like how this turned out. Thank you so much to those of you who played along. Um, again, if you're just watching this for the first time or just learning about this project, you're always welcome to do this at any point in time. It doesn't need to be part of a um, particular community documenting week. It's a really fun opportunity to do some storytelling about yourself. All right, that's a wrap for today. We'll see you guys back here next week for another Craft the Story video.